obviously you touched on how authentic you were with the players <coughs> and that would get them going for you. You know, you, you want players that would run for a brick wall for a manager. Were there any eccentric ways that you motivated players at times? Every, every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I find it boring if you try and do the same thing over and over again. What was like, the craziest thing you... Oh, no, I've did, tried did. to change change the mood of things. What you have to be is, is aware of how they're feeling, you know, because you can't be that on them all the time. You need to change it up at the right time and give them a break. And then you then look like you're confident, mm. which then boosts them up, you know? So I've done slash and slide <laughs> What's that? Blackpool, which we is, just took him to. We, like a we took him to took him to the the water park, and <laughs> and I have arranged a a poker tournament. Did after. you go first on the slides? Oh yeah, it was great. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fun. Me, boys. But, but it it was. I've done, I've I've taken them to ballet. The QPR lot, yeah. Like doing Fucking it, or was it after? Every- no training with them. <laughs> Ferdinand did that, didn't he? No, Danny Shitu had a tutu on. He was all fucking out. Danny Shitu. Danny Shitu. He had the young lady sat on his shoulder, but we couldn't. I got that wrong. We couldn't walk for a week. After the ballet? <laughs> the, the, the squats and the. And the, the oh, yeah. Was it was it like power. Oh, my God. The United yeah, boys said they for started for balance and yeah. Yeah. Like power and Mate, I'm not Tough. kidding you. They, they could open a, a can without a. on with their cheeks in their ass, those blokes. <laughs> Fair play to them. Do you know what I mean? You could park your Kawasaki 1500 straight in there. You wouldn't yeah. even need to put the side thing down, would you? It was incredible. Long incredibly dude. hard, yeah. But well done to them, you know. But they were shaking the van. They didn't want to get out. <laughs> it was that, honestly. I, you know, and what you try and do is, is change it up when, yeah. when the pressure gets to you. And what, what, what about specifically at half? Is there a memorable half-time team talk that you can think of that was like, change the game at that point? I think there was one later on in my life where I, I just went, look, if you think that's good enough, right, our fans don't, you must know that's terrible. So please just go out there and try to do something different than that because that didn't look like you. And then I sat down, had a cup of tea, didn't say anything else, <laughs> right? And I went, can you try and look like the team that was practicing yesterday and the day before? Mm-hmm. I don't care about the first half, that's happened, but I don't want to see that again. Yeah. Can you, you know, and they all went, yeah. So then one or two of them started talking. Do you know what I mean? What you got to do is find the leader, let them own it. Yeah. Mm. And when you get that right, they'll then start doing it themselves, you know. This clip is brought to you by Super Six. Super Six is back after the international break and the massive jackpot is still there to be won. You can already enter now, so get your scores selected. We've all been playing Super Six this whole season. There's no reason why you shouldn't come and join. It's a free shot at £250,000. What is not to love? Get over to the app, Predict your six scores and that jackpot could be yours. You can also compete against myself, Reeve and Theo in the official pitch side mini league. To join that, the code is PTCH23 and we'll also be giving away a £100 classic football shirts voucher to the person who comes top of that league. Once you're in, very easy to play. Just predict your six scores, enter your goal and goal, hit submit and you're all set. Completely free shot at £250,000. Follow the link in the description to sign up now. There's many, many chances to win this jackpot this season over and over again. And a classic football shirts voucher if you top our league. So remember, completely free shot at £250,000. You might as well get involved. Follow the link in the description below. It's creating culture, right? That's well, yeah. I'm, I've also taken them to military bases. <laughs> to, <laughs> oh, no, pre-season to make sure that they understand. Yeah. Right. If your life is having to protect everyone else in this country, I that see. you're going to be so fit, you're going to be ready, and you're going to listen, and you're going to need leaders. So, fully, fully aware of that. So, I asked them to put some things on to see if my lads were leaders. And one, there was this one specific: two teams are taking each other on, half my squad against half the other ones. And there was this swing: if you any one of your team fell off, you all out start again. Right, honestly, and they all meet these swings at the same time. So the bloke went, We were here like half hour. And I'm thinking, This, I said, they're never going to do it. He went, Well, you've got to realize someone's going to have to say, Let them go. Otherwise, you'll never finish. One of your boys will realize this and he will sacrifice and he will say, And he's your leader, Danny Shitter. Uh... He screamed there, Lads, we'll be here all day. Sit down, let them cry. Yeah, but they'll come first. Sit down. 
let them cross because we have to achieve this together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And he didn't even think he was a leader. Right. It's amazing. We had another one where you you had to carry, it was a, a, a dummy, but it weighed the same as a, an average uh, man. So you, your job was to, there was eight of you, six of you had to carry it, the other two were just running, and then you keep swapping and then get it over these obstacles and like a cross country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, they had to work out how to do that. Uh, Mark Bertram threw the dummy in the woods because <laughs> he said he's uh, the bloke come back. We just they just carried the stretcher and he went gaffer. I said where's your where's your bloke? And they, they were fuming like what? He went, oh no, he's dead weight, isn't he? <laughs> he's dead so weight. I'm saying to this <laughs> lot, he's, he's, not, he's not he's not sharing. All the bloke was worried about where was it? It's worth about ten grand that dummy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's the take on it. That was Birch's take on it all. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's funny. It's clever. Incredible. It's clever. Uh, and to, I've always wanted to ask this, but never asked a manager before. In terms of player fines set for the dressing room, is that done by you or is that done by players? It's a code of conduct right. by the club. And then I always used to have a, a committee yeah. of some young ones and my senior ones and, and good talkers, bad talkers, get them in there and, and say, right, do we accept that? But I, I would get them to bring me a word that they thought was really important in their life, write it down, and then we'd all sign it. So we all agreed to that. Interesting. Right? So, and then we put it up on the wall. So the whole group managed itself then. Yeah. If punctuality was one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you signed that, didn't you? What time did you call this? Go yeah. and pay your fine. Don't moan. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'm not picking you. You know that. Roy King, Roy King did it at Sunderland when he got him up that year. He left two of his best players because they were five minutes late. It was, um, oh, yeah. what, there was a documentary on the, yeah, where your documentary was on. What I'm saying is that's unacceptable. Yeah. I don't care who you are, we're going. Mm. And they they were there and he left them because they weren't on time. They took the buzz on the way home, left them <coughs> the buzz because they were late. At the stadium they'd yeah. been to? <laughs> no, 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 no. no it, so, it was no, to go, go, inside. To oh, go right, to right. the game. So on a Friday, it's an away game. You had to be there at, say, eight o'clock. Yeah, yeah. They turned up at one minute past, and Roy went, leave the doors, keep yeah. going. <laughs> he left That's somewhere. how Roy came. And they won. And they won. <laughs> yeah. went, how dare you do that and find them? So what I'm saying, it, it's, a, it's a principle. Yeah. What you're after is lining people up wherever they've been before, let them know where they stand, mm. and make sure that they stand on the right side of respect for the teammates first. Right, to be late for anything... The car was late picking me up today. I, I understand on the M25 it can be <laughs> yeah. choppy, but if I'm going anywhere and I know there's a risk, I will leave two hours, three hours yeah, early yeah. Yeah. and then wander around and get there, you know, And because I can't risk being late mm -hmm. for you. So it's really important that, you, you, that these things, when it goes wrong, are there. Yeah. Right? And all I'm saying, how can a manager do that now when he's being undermined Left, right, and center. How can he be your leader? That's what I don't get because I feel like don't take this the wrong way, but I feel like you you you'd be more of a manager than a coach, so to speak. I feel like no, not, no. not that you're not a coach, but no, no, that's totally wrong. Oh, okay. I, all I've ever been is <laughs> no, 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 no. All, all I've, I, I, I'm Jiminy Cricket, right? I am your voice of sense on the side. No one worked harder than me ever. No one, right? Dennis Wise beat me out across country, but I tried as hard as I could because he was just. Phenomenal. Yeah, but he was. No one else ever beat me because I was determined that that was what I was good at and I needed that to play with Ray Wilkins. I carried the piano on the pitch and put it down so he could sit down and play it. Mm. Right? I knew what I was good at. And if you if you know what you're good at and you bring that A game all the time, you got a chance. So I'm wafting again. Where was I? What? <laughs> was on about different. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what, what I did, I realized I was coaching in a way to not lose. Right. 442, blah, blah, blah. So I then went right out on a limb and I coached to try and have an attacking formation, which we then tried to win the ball back immediately by having more people there mm. to do that. So that's, that's what that. I did at Blackpool. So my lads at Blackpool played an attacking defensive system. Yeah. Which we weren't quite good enough at the end of the day because that was my fault. I should have done somewhat slightly different in the second half of that season because they've sussed us. Do you reckon, oh, do you reckon that's yeah, my fullback, the opposite fullback, instead of me allowing them both to go up. Yeah. And I had squares and grids that I put out on the pitch and I I practiced, you see that square, that's where I want you if that ball's over there. 
And if he moves out of that square, I need someone else in that square. So we can change shape, but we don't change shape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? And if you move out of that shape, someone else needs to see mm -hmm. that they can. Yeah. So that's why my center half could play it, run forward and score in yeah. open play. Right. Because we had other people filling in for him. So that, that was all part of it. Um, so I would actually say my personal thing on not being late, being a good person, treating someone with respect, that's huge. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even have you in my group if, but the tactics were more important, yeah. you know, that my principles of play of what you do every minute should never be changed, interchanged with tactics because that's right. an excuse. Oh, I played wide left and, you know, my, my player should be able to play Right, if he's a right winger or a right fullback, he should be able to play right wing back, right wing or right fullback without and wherever I tell mm -hmm. him. Do you get what I mean? Bernardo Silder was explaining that last week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't normally, but the gaffer asked me, to, yeah, so shut up and play where I tell you because there's a reason I'm doing it. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So it, you are all of those things. What I wasn't was as funny as people think I was because I need a laugh. And some of the things that have happened, I've had to turn that into a bit of fun to take the pressure off of whoever they were. Yeah. Carlisle was one at one time. But I try and protect my players, providing they're doing what I want. And if they don't do what I want, which is being punctual, be working hard, then I won't have them and they know it. Right? Some players didn't like that. Right? They could see a way that it could get rid of me and they didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe who, who directly challenged you in that sense? Well, I think Palace did, but we, I managed to see what they were doing. They weren't comfortable with what I wanted to do. And three managers after me tried to change that style. You know, the yeah. poor Dutch fella didn't win a game. He lost seven of them in a row, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And what I said was when I left, mm. I said, Tony Pulis would be the best you should get to do this job. So I'm still friends with Steve Parrish now because... I gave him the best bloke at doing what his club wanted to do. Yeah. Tony was brilliant at it. So anyway, cut a long story short, you are what you are, you do what you do, and all you need is everybody else to be as brilliant as they are, to take it on board. And that's what, when it's gone well, fantastic. Mm -hmm. In Leicester, I could always apologise to them, but we had 72 pros. <laughs> 72 players signed on. So well, I, I did. <laughs> oh, not <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> exaggerating. I had 72 with all the young kids, right? I had my first meeting and I have to, oh, Gaffer, you'll have to wait. So I waited and oh, all these people in these tracksuits. I mean, Christ. <laughs> and they were my squad. <laughs> God, cool. And then the staff came in and there was even more than I'd ever have in my life. And it's like, oh my God, I tried to whittle it all down. We got relegated. I wasn't good enough. I couldn't handle that. It didn't make sense. I carried on being the same as I was. And people didn't want to play for me. DJ Campbell said, I'm not playing for you because they just sacked my last manager, who was Martin Allen. So he didn't want to play for me. Yet the following year, I, I went, just about to, say, I went yeah. to Blackpool. Yeah, and I he was real. And, <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't me, was it? It was how he felt about Leicester. So, right. you know, at the end of the day, but I failed. And, you know, that you, you, you do sometimes, mm -hmm. no matter how hard you try. Millwall is another one. Kept them up the first year. Won seven out of the last nine games. They'd only won seven games the whole season. But when I started the next year, it wasn't quite the same. I didn't make the right signings. We didn't have enough money to go around, but it was my fault. Is there anything you miss? Would you ever be tempted to go back in? So you're, you're, you're nearing a thousand... I'm 12 short of 12 a 12 short, yeah. Oh, go on. Is that, is that, a, is that a, an itch you might need to scratch? Soul for the summer? <laughs> it's got to be league. It's got to be a league club. It's got to be league matches, or and then I can join the thousand club. So if anybody's listening who wants to give an offer, I'm not even old. I'm sixty. I feel you're in good shape. I, no, I feel yeah. That, I nine, feel, nine months is paying off. off. I feel more more equipped than I've ever felt. I oh, really to, to to do the job. Yeah, but physically, mentally, everything, all of it. Yeah, yeah because if. Like, Put it to it like a brain surgeon, right? You know, if, if you've got someone who's waiting to do his first operation and I've done nearly a thousand, you telling me that all the modern, mm -hmm. that he's going to be better at doing it than I am right now. I don't think so. But it is what it is. So maybe I'm too outspoken. Maybe I'm not. 
you know, maybe all these new ones, you know. Good luck. We've to got them. a lot of pull on this show, mate. So someone's probably <laughs> mate, gonna come not all, all, all I can say is is there's a huge part of me missing. And my wife knows it. Is it just the you mean an external me. metric of just the number that you want to hit? No, it's not the numbers. It is only a number, but I miss You're right. the game. 